Hello, welcome to Reliant Technology. This short video is going to explain how to create iGroups within the NetApp storage system. Today we're going to be creating an iGroup uh, for Fiber Channel. Uh, in this, uh, in the NetApp On Command System Manager, we have a LUN created called Reliant underscore LUN underscore F, and we are going to run some CLI commands to create the iGroup and also map the FQN or the WWN names to the LUN. So let's begin. So first we're going to start off by typing iGroup create. We are going to then create use a dash F switch this actual F switch is specifying either F for fiber channel or I for iSCSI. And since we are going to be doing fiber channel, we are going to use the dash F switch. We are then going to use a dash T for type. In this instance, we are going to use VMware. Other types that you could connect to is AIX, Linux, Windows. But in this example, we are going to use VMware. And then we're going to name our I group which is Reliant IG for initiator group underscore F for fiber channel and then we are going to type in the worldwide name which is 0A0982 89 AB7 A2 now we're ready to create our I group. We hit enter. If we go back to the NetApp on command system manager and go to initiator groups, we will then do a refresh. And you can see that the I group has been created. Now we're going to add an additional worldwide name to this I group. So now we're going to type in I group, add. F. Now this lowercase dash F is not for fiber channel or iSCSI. This actually is for LUN mapping conflict checks. This will not do a, a LUN mapping conflict check on the cluster partner. Uh, so we definitely want to do a dash F here. Then we're going to specify the I group that we want to add this worldwide name to. Underscore F. And then we are going to put in, in this example, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in so I don't have to type it out. So now that added the other worldwide name. Now we will come back here and do a refresh. And if we go to initiators, we will see that now both worldwide names are in there. The last thing we will do is we will actually map this I group to the LUN underscore F for fiber channel that we want to give these initiators access to for this LUN. So let's go back to the CLI. Now we will do a LUN map dash F again. This is so it will not check for conflicts on the partner cluster. Then we will do, we will specify the LUN path. That includes the volume that the LUN resides in. And then we will specify the I group that contains the initiators that we just created. And then we hit enter. So now you see that this initiator group was mapped to this LUN. So now if we go back to this LUN and do an edit and go to initiator group you will now see that it is mapped and it automatically since we did not specify a LUN ID it automatically assigned the uh, first available in this case it was zero so now we've learned how to create initiator group for fiber channel how to assign the initiator worldwide names to it and also how to map the initiator group to a LUN thank you so much mm -hmm.